Good afternoon everybody, it's Lynn here at the Go Live Granny and I'm live streaming here from a very blustery and uh, on and off wet day here on the Isle of Wight. I'm not quite sure if it's raining, the trees are actually blowing like mad and it is very blustery here on the Isle of Wight but I'm indoors, I'm in the dry and um, I'm actually enjoying my day even though I can't get to, I'm not going in the garden because the wind is really whipping up. Hello Sophie, nice to see you. So folks, I am um, I'm, I'm playing, I'm experimenting because I'm normally, hello Pauline, normally I, I look at the comments on my tablet, hi Sarah, but I've actually got my, my laptop on at the moment, so I'm going to see um, if I can find, if I can comment on my laptop, but I actually can't see where the live stream is on here, so just give me a minute or two folks, hi Paul, nice to see you, um, but um, yes, I want to uh, see if I can see the <laughs> this is all new because it'd be much easier um hello from a very windy and rainy east coast of Scotland yeah and hello Carol and Carol's just done a live stream over on the other side of um, ride she did it in the group which meant that we couldn't see it until afterwards uh, no I haven't Sarah I need to talk to you about the cable the cable is for the tv at the moment I'm on my laptop and I'm just trying to find out where this live stream is because I want to watch the comments on the live stream um, and I can't <laughs> I can't see where they are oh dear they Facebook's changed everything anyway and um, it hang on folks I'll be there good afternoon you're still waiting for your book to arrive your donkey has one leg he's a wonky donkey definitely <laughs> definitely a wonky donkey um, so so folks just hang on a minute I will I will see if I can, um, hi Yvonne, um, you've just tagged me, who have you just tagged me, sorry, you, who have you tagged in what Sarah, I missed that, um, uh, I'm not quite sure, oh you've tagged me in something, oh yes you've tagged me in that, I see what you've done, that's right, so let's see if it tells me where we are, oh yes here we are, let's see, oh there we are, look Lynn is, thank you Sarah, well done you, um, again it's it's learning all these different things so now now I should be able to watch the live stream and see the comments come up at the same time except I've got a completely blank screen oh no here he is ah yes there we are it's working well it's working let's just click on it and then it will actually open up so I can see the comments because this will be, now that's it there we go um yes thank you Right, so that's brilliant. So this might be a better option than we've been doing with the um, with the tablet. And then I got all set up and I'm normally sitting facing that way. And of course, that's because I broadcast mostly at night. But when I looked that way, there was were, there were shadow all over my face. So I had to move the box. I'm going to do some unboxing. I had the box over here. So I had to move the box over there and move the camera around there so that I've got the light shining on my face and I'm not all in the dark. I should be using the ring lights, but I still need to work out how to do that um, so let's have a look and see right so I have had a parcel from the works my first online order from the works and look look at the state that the parcel arrived in it got all wet it was a bit wet and soggy but fortunately nothing had fallen out of the wet and soggy well I don't think it has I don't think anything's missing so let me um, let me show you whoops comments have gone off there Let's bring those back. Let me show you what I've got in my box. You had a parcel today, your your new mug. You've put a picture of it on the community page. Oh, I shall have a look at that in a while then. Right, so this is the works. Now, I've just become an affiliate for the works because I the works is one of my favourite shops. And, of course, I haven't been in there since March. And I think I was getting some withdrawal systems and uh, withdrawal symptoms. And then I realised that I could actually... Um, become an affiliate uh, so I have become an affiliate I obviously don't get commission on my own goods but what I do like is not only have I done an order but they've given me 15% off my next order too so how lucky was that um, so let me show you what I've been buying um, so I I've gone for some some more um th three pack chunky brushes because we're doing an awful lot of painting we're bit, we're painting um, gnomes we're painting houses we're painting all sorts of things and I thought I'd like a few more of the chunky ones I got lots of the very fine brushes but thought we'd have some of the chunky ones um, did I buy the shop no I don't think I bought the shop. <laughs> 
And Sarah, um, thank you. Red looks nice on me. Yes, I had red on the other day, a different red, didn't I? And people said it looked nice. I think I do like red on me. I haven't worn red a lot, actually, but there we go. Um, so thank you for those people offering compliments there. So, no, I haven't bought the shop. It's actually a £30 order. I only paid £22.00. 40 because I had commission on my loyalty card uh, so that made it even nicer more exciting but I was getting some bits in ready for doing craft work because lots of you know that I'm going to be doing some extra craft work to help some of you um, enjoy your craft work more and um, no Rachel your parcel hasn't yet come sorry I don't think I've had a post today I don't know it's not normally this late so I don't know but my my regular postie wasn't wasn't around yes uh, wait a minute what's today monday um when did i have no on saturday it wasn't my regular postie so i don't know whether my postie is around anyway so let's have a look so looking towards christmas i ordered some glitter cards and envelopes so that's five a five pack of glitter cards and envelopes and this was just a price of one pound fifty let me oops let me open and show you if I can get into the packet. Is it a theft proof packet? <laughs> Sorry, folks. Um, so these would not only be Christmas, but you could do anything. It's Tuesday. Oh, it is Tuesday today. Yes, Sarah, thank you. Why was I thinking it was Monday? Um, so it was the postie came yesterday. I don't think I've had a postie today and it wasn't my regular postie. So I don't know whether she's away having a holiday or what. Oh dear. I think I've just smashed all this packaging. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. So look, some lovely, lovely red sparkly. Look, it matches. It matches me. So we've got some sparkly, sparkly red cards and some sparkly gold cards there. Look, there we go. And envelopes to match. So we've got, oh, wait a minute, we've got one, two gold and three red and five envelopes. There we go. And I got... I don't remember ordering three packets, but I think I probably did. <laughs> oh, there we go. And um, and next, very exciting. Look, I have got um, a creative paper crafts book. Now, this, I think, was £4. It's a £14.99 14 pound 99 book it's a dorling kindersley book i used to sell hello jackie i used to sell dorling kindersley books but um i don't anymore i'm just going to drop a link in for the um for the website should anybody want to be going to look at the works website um that's that is an affiliate link folks it is raining it's been raining here i don't know if it's raining at the moment but it's been raining on and off quite a lot um so there we go so yeah, there we are. There's the work link. And that is that is an affiliate link for the site, folks. Um, so this book is wonderful. It's got all sorts of things. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can do it this way round. So let me show you some of the things. Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. Let me show you. Um, so teaches you how to make paper flowers oh i think the light's shining on it peonies we've got peonies whoops what else have we got here whoops so there we are shows you how to construct the peonies i might do some paper flower making <laughs> christmas day is four months today time will pass very quickly it most certainly will um, and then we've got some bookmarks all sorts of different bookmarks um, and it's it giving you some paper punching techniques here and look there's a there's a, a late lampshade made I don't know if you can see it's made out of punched paper let's have a look oh I'm hot um, some paper, paper mache here we are they've made a paper mache bowl card making used to be your favorite craft but you've lost your interest just now doesn't matter does it because there's plenty of other crafts out there so I used to do a lot of paper craft gone on to knitting and cement craft and I think I'm probably going to come back to doing some paper craft because more people in the group wanted some demonstrations of different crafts then there's storage boxes look tells you how to make storage boxes and decoupage decoupage look making beautiful boxes with decoupage another 
So all these are paper. Everything in here is paper craft. Right. Um, and uh, oh, look, a nice keepsake box. And that's got beautiful pansies all over. And I've just ordered some pansies from one of the gardening places um, so that I can plant up my my hanging baskets to be winter flowering baskets now that the summer's nearly over not bought a thing for christmas no well this is this is the first thing i've done and only i've only done it to show you because there's some christmas papers in here um, and i wanted to just show you some of the things that we might be doing there's a nice nursery picture out of paper and actually these um these shadow boxes I didn't buy any from the works this time because I've got quite a few in the hobby craft sale, but they are on offer at the moment as well, the shadow boxes, but not I haven't got any in this box. So um, there we go. Um, so, gosh, I'm hot. Uh, oh, it's giving you all sorts of different paper making, making techniques in here. Um, and, that, you know, lots of paper. Oh, petal writing paper. Look, telling you how to make petal, write, petal writing paper. There we go. Um, and uh, lots of bespoke, bespoke, pa make your own bespoke stationery if you want to. There we go. So lots and there's lots and lots of different cards. I won't go through every page in the book. Every origami fairy lights, drink mixers, folded napkins. Somebody was talking about folded napkins. The, uh, yeah, the sun is trying to come out here too, Sarah. Look, it's shining on my face. Um, Tissue paper pom-poms, paper decoration techniques, scrapbook page projects, uh, scrapbooking techniques, travel diaries. Oh my goodness, there's an awful lot in this book. Ribbon bound photo album, uh, marbled book cover. Oh, I haven't done marbling since I was at school. Wow, might revisit that one. And quilling, we've got quilling in here as well. I could make myself look some quilled earrings. Maybe I should give that a go, but I wouldn't do them in green. I'd probably do them in purple or red. <laughs> um, so really good value. I think it was four pounds. It hasn't got a stick on it, but I'm pretty sure it was a four pounds and it's normally 14 99 Excellent value. Uh, you loved doing decoupage, did you, Amanda? Excellent. Sounds like you've done quite a lot of different crafts there. Loads and loads of things in this book. And it would make a fantastic present for somebody who's interested in craft and it's as i say four pounds and it's normally 14 pound 99 some craft books have very little stuff in them this one has got an awful lot of things in the in the book um so that's amazing let's see let's see what else oh now this i fancied I've bought myself a brush stand because I've been doing a lot of painting. And then, you know, where do you put the brush? You dip it down, then it rolls off and rolls on the floor. So I thought, oh, you like you're doing your folded napkins. Excellent, Ailey. Um, so I thought I'd treat myself to a, um, a brush stand. Let's see how we go with this. So we've got two, two circular bits here. I probably could have made one out of something, but you know what? I treated myself so let's see how this goes um, oh I think <laughs> this is where I don't put it together properly and you you see me faffing about um, I'm not quite sure how to do it let's see I'm oh oh basically look whoops hang on got the wrong bit <laughs> there we go let's see I see I see what I'm doing now there's no instructions. Just put it together, Lynn. Come on, get your act together. <laughs> oh, dear. Is that right? Yes, I think I've got it. One, two. Whoops, three. Oh, I haven't pushed it in properly, but I think you get the idea. Oops. <laughs> I think I need to click them in harder. And these obviously go on the top. That stands on, look, I'll do it later when, I, when I'm not on camera. I'll put it together and show you a picture. But basically it goes like that. And then you stand your brushes in it. So the brushes stand up in it. I should have put it together earlier. Here's one I didn't make earlier. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Um, hang on. I think I, have I done it? Yes, I've done it. Look, there you go. So basically, I haven't got a paint. 
I've got a pencil. The paintbrushes are still... So look, basically, you put your paintbrushes in like that and they don't get all over everything. So I'm actually thinking that's going to be a very good buy. <laughs> so there we go. Um, what's Jenny saying? When we had the floor, she used to make lots of cards to sell in the shop. Not made any in five years. Now, maybe you might go back to, back to it. Carol, the book is called Creative Paper Crafts. And if you go through the link I put up uh, on the page earlier, or I can drop it in again, it will take you to the works page, um, the whole website, so you can have a browse round. There we go. Let's see if that... Oops, did that work? Yes. So it's called Creative Paper Crafts, and it's Stalling Kindersley, and it's £4. I don't think you'd find it cheaper anywhere else. I think it will be, um, you know, I think that's probably the best you can buy and find it unless you get it in a charity shop but i don't know when it was printed it might not it might be a new book out i'm not quite sure so anyway now this is what i uh pin pin the link oh okay, oh thank you yes um why don't i do that <laughs> isn't she thank you sarah you have to be my right arm assistant i think where do i pin, how do i pin it how do i pin it i can't see how to pin it I will pin it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you usually make all your Christmas cards, but maybe not this year. We'll see how you feel. You've plenty of stash to make them. Absolutely, you have. Uh, wait a minute. Sorry, I've um, I'm struggling here. I've lost my comment. I've lost the link. Oh, I see. I see. Wait a minute. I'm gonna put the link in again because I've lost it. And then, that's it. If I do that, it says underneath, doesn't it? How to pin it? Oh yes. Look, there it is. Pin. Has it pinned? Has it pinned to the top? I don't know if it has. I think it's pinned. Oh, wait a minute. Did it pin? I can't see if it's pinned. Can you tell me if it's pinned, Sarah? Do you know if it's pinned? Oh, yes, it's got the little pin beside it. So there we go. Right, now this, this was one of the reasons that I ordered, wanted to order. And I thought this pack was going to be much smaller than this. Now this is traditional Christmas design pad. And it's got 24 sheets with 24 designs. Um, and it's, does it give me any more information on it? So it's all different. Um, look, it's all, let's go this way. It's not so easy to do it, is it? I have to find a better way of showing these things. So it's beautiful. Well, it's actually card. It's not paper. It's card. Can you see? And it's got designs on both sides. Look. There we go. Look, there we are. Ailey, do you like this one? I expect Ailey will like this one. <laughs> there we go. And so lots and lots of beautiful designs. And so you can cut this up for all sorts of different paper and craft work. Um, so that's really good. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, I don't know why I didn't realise that, but well done. Thank you for helping me out with that one. Um, so let's have a look. There we go. I, now it's not. Now the comments are not moving, so I don't know what that's all about. Um, hopefully they will. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Um, Oh, it's pinned it. Now I can't see the comments. It stopped me seeing the comments. How silly is that? Um, wait a minute. How can I? Oh, right. Your live stream page and is no longer accessible. So maybe, oh, yeah, is that Andrew coming in? Andrew had a problem with Facebook. So Sarah, I've pinned the comment and now I can, can only see the, um, the pinned comment there. Wait a minute. Let's see. The pin comment is in the way of all the other comments now. So this is. <laughs> let's, hang on, let's put the let's put this on, and oops. Let's see if we can get it on here. It might be easier to view them on here, and just use the laptop if I need to put a link or anything in. Let's have a look. I don't know. Oh my goodness! I'll get it right one day, won't I? But you know, it is what it is, and people still keep coming back. So. <laughs> There we go. Let's just put that one on. Um, there we go. So I think we'll get the comments here. That'll be easy. Oh, yes. There we go. Right. So now I can see better. Lovely paper. It, I think it's around 13 weeks to Christmas. Somebody put in how many how many weeks it was just now, didn't they? Uh, so I will be bread on bread and water this month, Lynn. Yes, absolutely. Because I put, um, you know, an order in. But uh, never mind. I want to be able to help you with lots of the different crafts. There we go. Look, there's a, that's a beautiful one with robins on. 
look. So this one, this one is called the, Chris, the traditional Christmas design pad. Now, when I was ordering, there were different, there were about four different designs and I put them all in my basket, didn't do the order straight away. And when I went to do the order, it had said they were not available, some of them. Then when I went back, it said they were available. It was a bit of a ping pong thing. And eventually I got this one. And I got this one. This one. So this one is... They, this one was called Traditional Christmas Designs. And this one is called Woodland Christmas. So And these are three pounds. Okay. So let's have a look. Um, right. Okie dokie. Good, absolutely good for Christmas cards. It would be good for anything. It would be good for making up little boxes because actually it's card. It's not just paper. Look at these beautiful designs. Look at them. Oh, there's the Robins again. Um, what have we got? Look, beautiful designs. Absolutely. You know, and and actually, you could. I could use. I've because I've got the shadow boxes. And I'm intending to do some things with the shadow boxes. These would be nice. As some something like this would be nice as the back of a shadow box for a picture. All sorts of things. Ailey is loving the tartan. Yes, this is just three pounds. Absolutely, three pounds. That one's three pound. Now, as I say, I did a thirty pound order, but because my loyalty card is attached to my um, my my account, I had got seven pound sixty. In commission to come so I actually only paid 22.40 for this order and then because it's my first ever online order with them they've sent me a voucher for 15% off my next my next order so although I've given you affiliate link I can't use the affiliate link myself I can't get commission on my own goods that's fi perfectly fine um, if you use the affiliate link, you don't pay any more for your goods, but it does mean that a little bit of commission comes into the Go Live Granny pot, and then that means I can buy more more stuff to make more, you know, to keep to keep the broadcast going, keep doing more craft stuff. So that's the idea. Look, there's another one Ailey will probably like. Look, we've got some tart and stuff in here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The work sell beautiful origami paper for tea bag folding. Oh, I shall have to look at that because I haven't really studied the tea bag folding yet, but I will. But just look, look at oh, that's up the other way. Look, beautiful robins, absolutely amazing. Oh, you can see I'm going to have a great time, can't you? <laughs> and you can all have a great time. I can make some. so now it's now I've got to work out some other crafts to do. You know that I can demonstrate. Perhaps this might be an afternoon activity we do going through. You know the next part of the year. Look, there's a nice wooden one there. Um, all sorts of different things. Snowflakes, just amazing. Oh, oh, look, Ailey, I think this whole one is for you. Look. <laughs> There we go. And baubles and more and more beautiful backgrounds. They are amazing. Wow. And you know what? I thought this was going to be tiny. I think that's pretty good value for three pounds, don't you? Um, so lots of so it says there's 24 different designs. Um, so there we go. Some of them obviously repeated through the book. Yes, they're repeated one way and then the other way. So there we are. So that that so that was that was the traditional. No, this was the traditional one, and this is the woodland ones. So there we go. And you can see how big they are, against, can't you? Against my head. Very big packs. So I'm very pleased with that. And then, look what else I got. I think this was pound fifty. I can't remember. Look, I've got some bubble trim. I bought some of this. I was making um, a Mexican hat. I was making... Oh, it's the skeleton. It's the, the Alan Dart pattern that's the skeleton. And um, he had black like this around his hat. And I had to buy some off the internet uh, one day because I was away and I needed to get it quickly. So I ordered that. But I'm sure I paid more than it. I'm sure this was £1.50. I might have got that wrong. It's not marked on it, but I'm pretty sure it was £1.50. So there we go. What else have we got in here? Oh, look. Here we are. Christmas is coming. You can't have Christmas without holly. So we have a little pack of 30 pack embellishment of little little holly bits and pieces. And these are one pound fifty. 
so do you fold used tea bags? I don't think so, Carol. I think you use paper. <laughs> Pound and sell some fab design books like that. Oh, thank you, um, Andrew. I haven't been out, you see, and Poundland don't do online shopping. Um, so I'm doing my stuff from online. A glue, nice paper onto tissue paper boxes for the charity shop, and they sell the hot, them like hotcakes. Excellent. Um, so let's have a look. Fabulous value, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, let's just have a look, see if I've missed any comments. Oh, hello, Hazel. Didn't see you come in. Sorry. We'll be just water. She doesn't eat bread. That's right. I won't be on bread and water. I'll just be on water. Absolutely. Hi from Karen at work. Sorry, missed you. Um, there we go. So um, that's it. So and then there's a, there's a lot of bubble wrap in here. You know, look at this. <laughs> this will make that lovely popping stuff you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pop this usually i pop it and put it in the bin i'm gonna make i'm gonna use this to make a garden pot look at that i can stick that round and i can make a garden pot out of this <laughs> with my cement so you see upcycle nothing is wasted um is dean in the house uh, is he inspired what was he not inspired before? Uh, <laughs> um, right, let's see. When you did your City and Guild's textile course, you em embroidered on them dry, then out, dry them out the square ones. Oh, you mean the, you mean tea bags? I'm getting a bit lost to the comments. But don't you think, uh, don't you think that would make a, a lovely pattern for a fl uh, um, for a garden pot? So I'm going to use that. I'm going to reuse that. There we go. Hello, Tracy. Um, we're in we're in Lynn's works, the works craft box that came today. And then the rest is paint and glue because you can't do lots of crafts unless you've got a good stash of paint, paint and glue. I've got a lot of acrylic paint. Corrie sent me some lots of acrylic paint. So I've got a lot of acrylic paint for the cement, but I decided that I needed to make sure I was well stocked up. Oops, let's see if I can get into this bag. It looks well, well glued up. Hang on. Um, let's have a look. So I have got washable PVA. There we are. That was £2.50. 500 mils, bonds, fast, dries, clear, washes out easily, which is just as well because I do tend to get in a bit of a mess. Um, so there we go. And, you know, you can never have too much of this sort of thing around. Last Christmas, um, well, last o October, I learnt to crochet. And then last Christmas, somebody wanted some some of the members of the gang. Uh, thank you, Tracy. Some members of the gang, somebody wanted us to make... She asked if we could, we were we were able to make some snowflakes. Then she didn't get back to me, this lady. And then she got back to me at the last minute when it was too late to ask any of you lovely people to make the snowflakes. So I I sat and crocheted about, tw I don't I'm new to crochet, and I sat and crocheted about, I think it was about 20 snowflakes. And then I had to stiffen them. So you, I was getting instructions from Google and from community members as to how to stiffen wool so it, i made a mix of pva and water and put the snowflakes in there and lay them all out and they dried beautifully and they stiffened so that was something i learned last christmas so never be without a you know some some pva handy if you're a crafter uh your pva from your son used three bottles making snail model for school oh my goodness i hope you got a good deal on it um Tracy loves the smell of that glue. You have to be careful. You don't get addicted to glue. <laughs> there we go. Um, all right. You mean, do you do mean tea bags? Thank you. Um, Amanda's watching and knitting more pieces for your Jean Green. How jolly jingles. Christmas clown. Excellent. Doing a knitted paper chain. Oh, I did knitted paper chains. Uh, but I then used, I did knitted paper chains in purple and white. We had them on the Go Live Granny uh ride carnival float last year and then they were up on i think they were part of the christmas i'm not sure whether we used them on the christmas tree at um bryston last year and then they went they've gone to sandown yard for the yarn bombing because we we sewed flowers on them and they were they strung up in sandown at the moment so i'll have to make some more now look red red paint look we have red paint so these these are ready mixed paint 300 mils and these are a pound each um, you know, so this is sort of more of the paperwork. The acrylics is more for the other stuff. So um, I've got red. Look, it matches. I'm doing very well with my matching things today. 
and I know Yvonne will like this one. I don't think Yvonne's watching in at the moment, but she'll love this one because I know Yvonne likes orange. Oh, it got stuck in the bag. I can't find my way out of the bag. <laughs> I couldn't find my way out of a paper bag. I can't get it out. Hang on, make another hole in it. Got to be careful it doesn't open and splish all down me. Wait a minute. There we go. Opening my boxes with all of you watch, watching and chatting is much more interesting than just opening them on their own. Wait a minute. Oh, it's got stuck. It's, <laughs> it's got stuck in the bag. I can't get it in. No, anyway, look, can you see there's orange paint? <laughs> yeah. I'll leave it down there and I'll get it out in a minute. Oh, look, here's a pair of scissors I found earlier. Um, you found an old bottle of glue. It's... It smelt bad. Think it's gone off. Oh, my goodness. I should throw it away then. X, X, wait a minute. Wait. You made snowflakes out of hammer beads and made Xmas Christmas decorations. Excellent. The paper looks nice and thick. I don't like working with thin paper. No, it, um, it's thick. It's like, more like card. It, I think it says it's paper. It, no, it doesn't actually say what it is. It just says designs. Make and create, it says on the front. So now I've got my scissors. I'm going to open this one with the scissors because it might be a bit easier. <coughs> so we have green paint and we have blue paint and we have white paint. Oops. And we have yellow paint. No purple paint, did you notice? They didn't have purple paint on the list, but I already have some. <laughs> so there we go. So that's the end of the unboxing, folks, um, for that. But um, as I say, there's a, there's a form they put in the box. That's a, a, there's a returns policy if anything's wrong. You can return stuff. And as I say, I've got 15% to have off my next order. But I'm going to have to save up before I do my next order. Um, because, uh, you know, <laughs> otherwise I shall run out of pennies. Um, what, what, what do you stop the nozzle of your glue blocking and drying out? I always end up with... They do... They do... Um, they do get uh, gunged up, but I, I put a pin in and pull it out because, you know, when PVA dries, it dries like a bit rubbery. So you might, you know, sometimes you can pull it out or sometimes I just stick a pin in it and ping it out like that. So I don't know. That's not an official way. Obviously, there must be an official way, but that's my way. Um, so let's see. Uh, you thought you were going to have a peaceful afternoon, put Harrison down for a nap, but he's been playing in his room. Now he's crying. Oh, bless. Bless, bless, bless. Um, so there we go. Uh, Dean's saying, before you put it away, get a cocktail uh, stick, it, stick it in. Not a cocktail. You've put get a cocktail and stick it in the nozzle. I think you mean a cocktail stick, Dean, because I don't think pouring a cocktail in the glue would be a very good idea. <laughs> Sorry, that's my little joke. <laughs> it's the sort of thing I might put. I've got a I have got a rainbow of colours, and of course, you know, you can mix the colours. I mean, I love mixing colours to find other new colours. I remember doing that at school and showing the children that if you mix different colour paints, you could get different colours with it. So I have an absolute rainbow. I'm going to put them on on my desk, and I'm going to take a picture of all these goodies and put it up. Uh, had better get your new. Had better day got. Oh, get you're getting. Getting glass. Hospital tomorrow. Hope it's not bad. Too. Oh, oh, OK. Sorry, Caroline. I mis misunderstood. But that's good. You got, uh, does that mean you're getting your new glasses? Does it say? Hi, Anneli. We've been going through. We've been looking at all the lovely things. Look, Christmas is on its way. We've got beautiful <coughs> holly. We've got beautiful pads of Christmas paper. We've got lots and lots of lovely colours of, of paints. Here we go. Look, they just look, they look so, so lush and so yummy. And then they get all gunged up and then they don't look so nice, but they still do a great job. Um, I'm missing the girls down at the works because they know me as a, I'm, a, I'm normally a very regular in there. I'm really pleased about my, my, um, I think I need to set it up properly. I've made it a bit wonky, but it's like the wonky donkey, isn't it? But I tell you what, let's open the, the brush, the brushes. Look. Let's open up the brushes. You see, so when I've done my painting, I can put my brush in like that 
and I won't get it rolling all over the floor or all over the table. I think this is a fantastic in invention. I don't know why I've never thought of having one before. I don't know if I've ever spotted them before, but there we are. Hello, Kathy. Patricia, hello. Um, <laughs> Dean saying, just realised, had to correct it. He's always up for a cocktail. Yes, you see, your mind was on cocktails, not on cocktail sticks, Dean. But you gave us a giggle. And in the middle of a, a blustery and wet for some people afternoon, it's always good to have a giggle. So if you've just forgot to put the word stick in and it says you're going to try and pour your cocktail into one of these, then it's lots of fun, Dean. Keep it up. Keep up the humour. Um Carol's got a five-day online painting course which shows how to make secondary colours from the primary. That's excellent, Carol. That's lovely. So we'll look forward to some more wonderful paintings coming from, from your brushes. Um, and I know you're enjoying it. And we're all enjoying looking to see what, um, what you're making there. So um, that's lovely. Hang on. Wait a minute. So there we are. A few top tips coming in from people. That's nice. Uh, Ailey's going to sing a rainbow. I'm going to paint a rainbow. <laughs> some people are going to knit rainbows. Some people are going to stitch rainbows. And I expect Tegan will quill a rainbow. Um, so there we go. Lots of... I love the primary colours anyway. Um, so there we go. So the book was called Creative Paper Crafts. So I, I think... Who thinks that that was fantastic value for £30? Because, you know, if you think that this book on its own is normally fourteen ninety nine. pounds um, I think it's jolly good value. Um, I have got other things that I've already bought from the work, so I might show you some of those. Packs of card, packs of glitter card, packs of paper, packs of foam, all sorts of bits and pieces you can get in the works. But I thought I'd just share with you, um, you know, as I've just become an affiliate for the works and I want to, um, I always love to share. When I get a good deal and when I enjoy something, you know about it. Equally, when I get bad service, you know about it. But, you know, let's keep spreading all the wonderful things. Um, so if any of you, who are, who is a, is, a, is a big fan of the works? Definitely me. I'm definitely a fan of the works. Sorry, well, let's see. Um, just knitting. Caroline's just knitting. You think it's brilliant value. Yes, I thought it was absolutely brilliant value as well. So um, it wouldn't it be interesting to work out how many things I could make out of the stuff in this box. That might be a challenge, mightn't it? A th my £30, um, uh, you know, a £30 spend, which actually it was only twenty two forty because, of course, I had my loyalty points that I'd been collecting from before. And I was delighted to see there was seven, seven pounds sixty on my loyalty card. Um, and so, and, and of course, my hobby craft card, I've got £2.50 to spend. And as somebody reminded me last night, when it's your birthday, you get a £5 voucher. And of course, my birthday's coming, so I'll probably get a £5 voucher in a couple of weeks' time. So there we go. Uh, those pads alone elsewhere could be around £12 each. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, you see? I mean, these, yes, because this is £3. And these papers, there's 24 of them. They're not papers, they're card and they're double-sided. So it is absolutely excellent value. So now my brain is going to tick away and see what I might be doing with all of this. I wonder, I wonder whether I can make something so, so that tonight I can say, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> I have just finished the lid for the... Um, I finished knitting the lid this morning for the spaceship. I've got other knitting projects to go on to or to finish, but I might just do a sneaky something out of one of these because I'm only answerable to myself. So I might just do something. Uh, you spent £15 yesterday. What did you spend your £15 on, um, Carol? Was it on, on craft work? Um, just sprayed your, your different ornaments. Your grandchildren have made have made you with a high, high coat clear spray. Really good. So the paint they painted doesn't rub off. Hazel, did it come from the work? Is it something that came from the works? Um, all primary school teachers love primary colours. My daughter's teacher had all her bridesmaids in primary colours years ago. I saw somebody once in a shop buying fabric. I think she had seven bridesmaids. She must have been doing the rainbow, actually, because I was in the shop and she was buying fabric for seven bridesmaids and it was all primary colours. So there we go. Um, 
yes, I think Trixie might have. She's she's down. She's down on the floor at the moment. I put her down there because I'm running out of space now with all these things. I'm going to have to move stuff, move stuff on so that you can see all the other different stuff. Um, so so um, so let me know about that that spray that you're spraying them with. I've got varnish. I've got different things. I've got varnish for the. I've got some masonry paint for the cement and then I've got some some stuff that you paint over that or I've got acrylic paints for the cement as well. Um, and I just need to know. I think PVA works well, doesn't it? And sealing and stopping things rubbing off some of the time. So um, there we go. Just going to have a swig of my tea. Not sure if anybody else has got. Uh, oh, hang on. The comments haven't moved up on here, but they have on there. So that's let's see if it I've got the laptop on as well but we still haven't got the perfect system have we you've got the 12 by 12 packs you had a few of them also good for scrapbooks excellent uh, it means it will stay there so we can oh I see you, yeah, you mean the um, you mean the pin is, is pinned there um, no your son got it online he does the cement pots like you so does he use that on the cement pots is that what he uses um Hazel, perhaps you could give me a link to it at some stage. Lovely designs, lovely paper. I think it's around. Oh, oh, actually, this, this is these comments are way back. Sorry, I thought uh, I might not be watching tonight. You couldn't get to sleep. Oh, bless you, Amanda. I had a bit of a tossy and turny night, but I went to sleep and then I I woke up at about six. Then I went back to bed, um, watched Tristan's broadcast at eight o'clock, and then went back off to sleep and slept much better. After after eight, well, about after about half past eight this morning, I had a really good sleep, a, a couple of hours, very good sleep there. Um, so there we go. So, Amanda, don't worry, you need to get sleep. That's more far more important. Uh, money well spent, the same price as three packets of cigarettes you could smoke in three days. There we go, Ailey, and I've never smoked. So, um, yes, it, fantastic, isn't it? If you put it like that. Um, it is good, very good value. I, I, I've never, I think the reason I never really got into smoking was because I came from a family of non-smokers and I think it's easier to be a non-smoker if you live in a family of non-smokers. Um, and also, I was one of those where other people were trying it out at school. I always liked to do the opposite of what everybody else was doing. Had you noticed? <laughs> And so that might be why I'm, you know, I'm grateful to the fact that I never did learn to, never did, did um, smoke. Uh, there we go. Brushes, canvases, paper and colour brush pens. They're all brilliant for detail work. Yes. Yes, of course. My, this is, this is not one you'd get for detailed work, but I do have some tiny brushes because obviously things, things like on the gnomes, they've got, they've got eyebrows and they've got little buttons and they've got little noses and things, different things. So, but this is good for the obviously for the bigger brushing about so so there we go um hi wendy um yes hazel thank you send me a picture of it that would be lovely um so so wendy you you've just come in we've just been um we have just been opening or witnessing the opening of my my box of craft items that have come from the works and um if any of you want to go and investigate the works website um, I think you get we get the commission if you order online. I don't think we get it if you go in the shop, but it, you could always order online and collect in the shop, and that way the commission would would build. And I hope you don't mind me putting these things out, but it means I can do more. Um, if we, you know, I if there's commission coming in, it means I can keep doing more crafts for you. A high coat clear lacquer spray, excellent. I have a look at that and see. Some little, some little, does that say some little lady or some little lad? Oh, some little lad, you mean your little lad? Has he just woken up? Is he just out of his bed? So, I think I'm going to have finished my cup of tea in a minute and browse this. Have a look at all this lot and decide whether I shall make something Um Here's one I made earlier. It might be what I say tonight at 10. I might not because I've got knitting to do. I've got projects that I need to get on with knitting. But I might, you know, this is sitting around me now. It's a bit too tempting, isn't it, really? Uh, it'd be silly to put it away before I've tried anything. 
call because Ruby's trying to ring me. Uh, she was trying to ring me this morning in the middle of Tristan's broadcast and she said she'd ring me this later. So I am going to go. I will ring her in a minute. So I hope you've enjoyed um, looking into the contents of my order from the works. Um, We've got four kids who smoke, although Len and yourself never smoked. Nathan has never smoked. Interesting, isn't it, Carol, how that all happens? But I am very grateful that I never, ever smoked. My, my first husband smoked, but I'm very grateful that my children didn't, didn't follow that lead and they actually followed more for me. Your book's just arrived, Dean. Excellent. Uh, just remind me, I've forgotten what book it is now. What book did you order? I've forgotten. I, know, I did know, but his book's just come, so he's going to be very excited now. Maybe you'll have to do a live stream of your book. <laughs> what did you get? Forgotten. I've just so forgotten what you had. I should know because I saw it earlier. Um, I will. I will enjoy my tea and I will enjoy the rest of my afternoon. I've been watching while I've been knitting uh, knitted fairy tale oh you will absolutely love that book dean i've got it <laughs> i know you'll absolutely love it um and do let me know what you're going to knit from it first um i've while i've been knitting or pootling around and getting my dinner and all sorts of things i've been watching youtube on my big screen um now you know because we managed to get it off standby on my big screen on my big computer and i've been watching um people doing their gardening uh, and gardening tips i've been learning about you have to wait. <laughs> Ruby <laughs> needs me. Uh, you did a little skip to the door. I think you're a tad excited. Getting some Mod Podge. It glues for diamond painting pictures. Mod Podge you can get in, in um, that's also in the works. I noticed on the works website that they had Mod Podge, which I'd only heard about from um, uh, from the Americans before. But Mod Podge is now available over here as well. So there we go. Anyway, you were trying to say, Lynn, it's some little lad has just fallen asleep on me. Oh, right. He's fallen asleep. Oh, that's a bit more peace then. I thought you were going to say he's got up and he's sh jumping around the place. Enjoy. Right, folks, thank you for joining me on this blustery afternoon. But, you know, this is the sort of afternoon when doing crafts is fantastic because you can shut out all the blustery bit of the you know what's going on outside the window and actually lose yourself in the creativity of crafts so I am going to lose myself first of all on having a conversation with Ruby because she's trying to get hold of me look on Caroline look on 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 the link go on the link that I put up there and you can go in you've just ordered Sarah Keen Wild Animals today excellent that's another beautiful book you know it's wonderful so and don't forget folks to share things that you have found that you've loved do share as well so um, I'm going to go and um, I'm going to talk to to Ruby and then I'm going to do something crafty <laughs> And then I'll see you at 10 o'clock tonight. And we've got to charge the battery up now because the battery's getting low. Bye, everybody. Have a great... Uh, thank you, Amanda. And um, you get a great sleep and we'll catch up soon. Um, poor Sarah now can't, can't move and she hasn't got the TV remote close. So the TV uh, is off. You'll only have your phone. So you either risk waking Harrison up to get the TV on or you just have to use your phone. <laughs> Sarah, the choice is yours. <laughs> I'm not going to make that choice for you. Bye. See you all soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.